Well, this this seems like a place for sure. That tree looks like a good access point, perhaps. Yeah. Or we can try and talk our way in and intercept them. Um, There's several approaches we can do. Chris, you there? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, maybe you do. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you now. I'm going to take out from my back pocket just a small little booklet, the one I carry around. Mm -hmm. and I'm just going to start sketching a little okay. bit on the on the sheet um, of the way the house looks, um, entry points, um, from this angle at least, and then the trees, like, making note, like, we can do this tree and climb in, blah, 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 mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay. Are there um, any lights on? Um, no. Inside the house, you can't see any lights on at at this part. Um, oh, uh, you see so one Shogo. window here on the on the eastern side that uh, that the curtains are drawn. Yeah, yes. Uh, I have a thing here, and like basically in the small of my back, I carry like a little like um, like a small like leather holding pocket thing. Mm-hmm. And I take out uh, ten darts and I just hand them to him. Ah. Hardly use these anyway. I just use them just in case. But you like throwing stuff, so might as well have it to good use. I've been meaning to pick up some more throwing daggers, but thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. I want to just take one look to see if I see any obvious um, bits of security. Roll a perception check. My dice are hot. <laughs> yeah. What was your stealth check earlier, Chris? Oh, God. 19? 20. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, from here, outside, it doesn't seem like you can't see any security. Um, human, um, no humans walking around. And uh, it looks pretty dimly lit from this side. You can see a faint light in this window <clears throat> that's on this eastern side of the building. It's a large window. It's a, it looks like a flickering light, too, like a, like a fire. But it look like it's very faint. It's where it's mm -hmm. not like a roaring fire or even one that's active, but one that's more embers and, and putting itself out. Is it, they're most likely asleep. We need to decide as a group whether we want to do a heist or if we're trying to do some kind of con job. Well, I say we talk about it with the rest of the group then, because I've got a couple ideas and. Could work, but we're going to need everybody's effort. I'm not sure what their skills will make easier. Seems as if the big one can fight his way through just fine, but I'm not really sure what the other one brings. We use them as a distraction. That's true. If shit hits the fan, we just drop him. Yep. All right, let's go back. Okay, before right. they before they leave, I'm gonna jump out of the tree and walk over to him. Like, I wield one of the. I know so, it, so <laughs> describe what's leaping down from the tree. Um, man, I don't know. <laughs> Acrobatic. So, I guess Acrobatic. you guys see like Acrobatic. a um uh medium height like probably like i don't know 512 ish uh figure like kind of drop out of 12 kind of drop out of this tree um and like you like the branches rustle just a little bit and then like you just see like kind of like a shadowy figure drop out of the tree onto the onto the uh like whatever you know grass into the yard and start walking towards you 
And from where you were, um, they weren't able to see you, but you were able to overhear what what they were saying, and you know that they're plotting it. And job. I just, I just kind of walk up. <laughs> I, I kind of walk up and I'm like, case in the joint, huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about, friend. Just out for a night stroll. Out for a night stroll in this yard at two o'clock in the morning. I believe we're standing right on the edge of the street. <laughs> not everyone's. What are you up to in trees? Do you find yourself in trees often at night? What do you think? I'm here doing the same thing as you. <laughs> you take walks in the tree? Come on, we both know you're not here taking a walk. Can I do some charisma I'm... on him? <laughs> Good um, <luck>. uh, <laughs> for Togo, I'll see you back at the place. <laughs> I just keep walking. Okay, rude. <laughs> Oh, um, yes, you're close. cutting out, man. Yeah, someone's, I think your mic was popping. Hello? <clears throat> yeah, you're, 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 good. you're good. Just settle it down. <laughs> settle it down, proceed to. <laughs> well, no, I see, I can't have, I'm looking, trying to switch between Roll20 and TeamSpeak, and apparently that. Oh. It yeah. causes things. <clears throat> so I can either... Is it fine once I switch? Because I'll just go over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> Wait. Is it good or it's, is it fine? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. I won't <laughs> switch it that. <laughs> I didn't switch right. it. I okay. can hear crackles. I can't roll. That's just for Holy me. fuck. Okay, okay. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do a, a check. I, I'm just going to, like, I overheard your conversation. And I think you could use some help. What's this guy look like? Kind of like, kind of, I got some like, light one. armor on. <laughs> and, uh, um, <clears throat> probably like Great. somewhat of a, like, elvish accent. That you might detect, maybe. Are you an elf? I'm a half elf. You're enough. <laughs> enough. Enough I'm, of a point I'm, here. I'm enough. I'm enough. <laughs> and and what makes you think that would we require assistance? I'm just. It seems like we have similar interests, and I think we we might be able to help each other out. I've been I've been. On this trail for a while for? now. Who are you working for? I mean, uh, is that really important? I'm just kind of a, <laughs> I'm just trying to make some money here. Yes. Look, I'm I'm working for a guy named Slaps, and uh, he's interested in some some documents in this house, okay? And I'm just trying to I'm just like, trying to recover. I. Definitely would like to incite this. <laughs> I would like to know if I know the name Slaps as I'm walking away. You ditched me. I know. I'm <laughs> okay. slowly, I'm slowly you did. Away. Did like this could be a. You guys are talking. You just dipped out. <laughs> no right. idea what's gonna happen. I could be trying to assault him sexually, and you just left your buddy there. <laughs> That's no. really You've never met you him. You wait in trees to jump out to sexually assault people. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't not do that. <laughs> where where do you wait? Um, Indy, roll a. They, I guess, I guess history is knowing people name name or no? He's not really. A... I can just roll straight intelligence. Yeah, just straight intelligence. What is it? I um, can't see. Does not ring a bell to you. Yeah, I kind of hey. look and just like, kind of shrug and keep walking. Um, what? What did you roll? 
What did you, you guys were both rolling something, right? I want to see if he's lying. Oh, okay, insider from you, and then Chris, go to your I bio. Uh huh. Or wait, and reread it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like to think he just fucked up completely and made that up. <laughs> just made oh, laugh. and now just at the top of the sheet, um, there's a a box that should be gray. Say two GM. <laughs> yes. And then either roll deception or um, performance or persuasion or whatever you're trying to do. If okay. you're trying to lie or convince me, yeah. I don't know and performance. Then... I wasn't able to perform. And then, Chitogo, you need an insight check. Yeah. Hit that button for me and then tell me what the number is. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I got a blue sheet. <laughs> I can make the noise more. Yeah, he seems like he's being very honest to you. What's, okay, what's you're the on number? four. Two plus. Okay, thank you. <laughs> two plus two. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you seem pretty upfront for a man who just jumped out of a tree. Look, uh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your conversation, but it just just seems like we we could we could help each other out here. Didn't mean to alarm you. I love Chris's. <laughs> yeah, dude, this voice is I'm living for it. I, I, it's gonna. I'm gonna slip down there. I'm gonna end up. We're gonna be in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I, I usually don't get caught with so much egg on my face. Uh, what, uh, what do you bring to the table? What do you see? You're in the tree, I assume. Scouting yourself, or well, waiting look, for I... people to come by, stealing from the same place as you, or perhaps you have a crush on the young master. Well, that was a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been, I've been, like I said, I've been. Uh, may, maybe we should uh, get out of here and, and uh, talk somewhere a little bit more, uh, less, uh, a little bit more inconspicuous. And I. Like, I kind of start, like, just kind of walking towards the street, like, maybe in the direction that they came from. Just, like, slowly. Okay. Like, Look, I've been, I've been, uh, chasing this joint for a little bit now. I think, uh, I found a pretty good way in on the, uh, second floor through the window. That's why I was in the tree. <laughs> but I thought you guys might be guards. I haven't seen any guards around here before. So, yeah, you startled me a little bit. We startled the man in the tree. <laughs> Jumped out towards us. Well, like right, I said, it. I didn't mean to alarm you. So, Indy. User disconnected from your uh -oh. channel. Here goes Danny. Just like that. He refused. He's really walking quite fast. He usually stays back more. User entered your channel. <laughs> he seems to be completely yeah, Well, I, I understand if, uh, if you're, you know, that you might be a little startled. Well, look, I've, uh... Of course, you can see how we would perhaps need a little more information before including you on any alleged job. Yeah, yeah, no, I I understand. Uh, being a man that just jumped out of a tree and all. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have that paint? I always have I my lights. Towards them. We may need them. A little bit more fun tonight, I see. I think I can take just a bit more. This one seems... To you? Or to him? Peculiar. I must suppose it's just to him, but... I I love a watch. Well, I haven't seen you done your work yet. Uh, I'd love to watch how you do it. Perhaps we can trade this methods. Creeping me Come out. Come with us, new friend. Yeah, that's the... Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I suppose I could do that. How do you feel about theaters? Well, I, I've made my way into one a time or two. Is that so? And then I guess we just keep walking. We're going to walk him back. Okay. Between us. We're going to walk with him between us. And, like, Tritogo definitely has his arm on, like, the small of his back. Like, kind of pushing him. 
Okay, you guys make it back to the road. <laughs> and... Very much mildly captive. Um, I so love the mildly captive. About twenty feet in front of you, <laughs> you guys kind of stop still in the in the darkness, and you don't see anyone around the, these this part. Michael, you would know that it's this is pretty standard for the past nights you've been here. Look, I've been watching this guy for for a little bit now, and it seems uh seems kind of strange. There's no guards or anything. Uh, I've been kind of hesitating going in there just because I'm not sure. And they got a he's got a a kid that likes to sneak out at night, and uh, I've almost been caught by the kid one night. So I've been trying to observe a little bit more. Hmm. What's the I'm kid sure look we like? could probably walk out. Uh, I don't know, young, maybe 16, 17. Uh, dwarf. dwarf kid. It was dark, you know, so I didn't get a good look at his face or his hair, but it uh, it wasn't the it wasn't the old man. It wasn't the the old man. An older dwarf, you said. Well, yeah, that's the uh he's the one yeah, that owns Alfie. the house. Alfie. It's a family. Yeah. It's a family, you see. Are we, are we still by the house? No, we're walking. No, we, away. You guys, you guys have been walking. You guys okay. are okay. just now approaching the the road from the other side now. Well, look, I'm sure we can just walk out. This doesn't seem to be a place where conspicuous people spend much time. So I'm sure we can probably get out the front gate. Um, Michael, just... roll an Arcana check. Oh God. Well, we're head down. Nope. Um, you know, you noticed as you as you've been crossing these things, but only at night. You've seen somebody that's that goes from light to light and spends a little time in each one, moves on to the next one, and they work north to south. Um, through through the night. Okay. Starting at about midnight at the very top, and then they work their way back towards the gate. But you haven't had any trouble. But you've mostly gotten around him. But <clears throat> each light has a has a little small orb near the lantern. Mm-hmm. I guess with a twelve, I would say that it is. You do know that it's it is mag, it is magical. Okay. So, what are you guys doing? I mean, I um, I have no reason not to try to walk out the front. We're leaving. Okay. So. You guys are crossing <clears throat> the cobblestone road. Um, all of you make a perception check. Yeah. That's that that zero. A <laughs> goose Open egg, baby. Eyes, <laughs> roll, my, roll my perception. Oh. Sorry. I'm not good at that. <clears throat> Okay. Um, what did I get? I got a seven plus two. Um, I... Yeah, nothing seems to. Huh? You guys walk across the street with no issue. Cool. I mean, we're just leaving. Yep. Unless something stops us or something, we're walking out. Have you guys noticed the, uh, the person that travels around? Did you see him tonight going around to the light posts? Yeah, I saw him. Oh, I think it's some kind of, uh, I think it's some kind of magic to do with those orbs. <laughs> I love Michael. Very interesting. Oh, my name's, uh, let's, let's disregard that. People call me Michael, by the way. 
All right. Let people call you that. <laughs> the way out's this way, no? Yes. We keep mildly captive Michael. I love it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you guys All right. The eastern <clears throat> part of Trallon Point, and Michael goes over to a tree and and uh, or like near a bush, and he pulls out a grappling hook that he has set up and. We're just gonna walk through the gate. Oh, you guys are going south through the gate. Yeah, that was the the, the idea. Casually okay. walk out, like nothing is weird about what we're doing. Michael, right. I don't, I don't think the grappling hook is necessary. That seems a little over the top. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just packing it up. Okay. You guys went east again. Yeah, I thought you were going south through south. the gate. Now we're, we're just walking out. After okay, we... Michael, you would know that you've never walked out this way. Let's do it. First time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have your grappling hook away. Um, Alright, you guys are walking out. Um, so Michael, if you don't mind me asking, how did you get in? Climbed over the wall. That's how I always get in. How barbaric. Alright, in about 60... 65 feet in front of you, you see... Um, the guy who's setting up, or has been underneath the lights, he's now worked his way more south. And then another... About 100 feet away is, is the gate itself. Oh boy, there he is! And then with that, we're going to switch over to the other two as Drekar is dragging... Or as preacher over his his left shoulder. Can we take a break here? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll I'll we'll work. I will with the other two. And then uh. So your your goal here, uh, Drekar is just going right back to the. Yeah, theater. just carry him like, you know, carry him cradled basically into like towards Ryland Row and try and get back to Nell. Okay. Um. Down the road, or through the, the no, right. Yeah, through down the road. Okay. After about fifteen twenty minutes going down, you see the one lone guard, um, kind of by the clock tower, who sees you and sees someone over his shoulder and goes, "Oh, you need help? What's you okay?" So yeah, we'll be fine. And, and just uh, keep walking. He goes, oh he, oh, he looks pretty banged up. Are you sure he's okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Looks looks okay to me. And uh, yeah, I'll just I won't like stop to try and talk with him, but just keep. I'm not like running or anything, but just walking. Okay, uh, make a deception check. <laughs> um, we're not good at these <laughs> <laughs> but I'm fine uh, okay not deception okay I mean I have some I have some bandages I feel he looks like what is did he fight a tiger or something he got attacked by uh, some like a wild animal it was a badger a big one wow I, we got in the forest Oh, it made its way into town. It was down, uh, it was just, Ow. Ow. beats me. I mean, the proof is right here. You can see it. Fix him up if you can. I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Oh, <laughs> I, oh I can look at him, I guess. <laughs> I'll look around for like a bench or something. Yeah, there's, there's one 15 feet away. Yeah, I'll carry him over there and lay him down on the bench. He, he just walks over, and then once he sees the, 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 the claw marks over him, he goes, Oh, good fucking lord. Well, I did sure your job for you. It's already dead. I did your job for you. My job? I, I'm a night shift. <laughs> <laughs> it happened during the night. 
Where? <laughs> There's no badgers that get in through the gates. There's Over in uh, the Brighthook. There's a badger in Brighthook. Not anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know this wielder rock folk always bring animals in. They must have brought in one live. I don't. I don't you know. gonna fix him up or not? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just pick you back up and carry on my way. Out of my, my oh, guy. you don't he know is, how to. He, looks, um, he could make like a medicine check, <laughs> or if the guard has any magic, which I'm doubtful, but. If he has a I very much like, like the concept of him being like, do you need help? I got bandages. You put him down there being like, I don't know how to do that. You're old a little while. <laughs> it's like, I have bandages, but I wasn't trained for this. <laughs> he, he, he like puts a bandage over like one of the things and like wraps his arm and goes, oh, this is, this is all I've got. <laughs> this is all I've got, man. Uh, what are you guys' names? I can, I, do you want me to? I can get you to the infirmary. I mean, we can get you some actual help. No, well, I've got, we've got, um, I'm just trying to take him home. Um, oh, we'll be fine. Like, he's not bleeding too bad. Okay, and then with your, with your insight passive, you can see that he, like, offered that, but he didn't really want to do that. <laughs> and he, he was more like, ah, I was this trying is to my do my night shift. <laughs> Uh, it's it's been a quiet night, so like I can I can I can help if you guys need it. And he like his eyes dart back and forth. Like, uh. But if you're good, you I mean, all right, there's a fucking badger. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll just scoop preacher back up and keep going. So, you guys are 60 feet away from the guy who's stopping at each lamp. He doesn't see you yet. He looks like he's still concentrating on something else. What are you guys doing? You're walking down the middle of the road. Yeah, I mean, like, we've made a few texts that have not given us any reason not to think that it's safe to just walk out. Yeah. And as, so, as I mean, that's our plan. As you're continuing to walk... You guys should all make, if if you're being cautious at all. Um, I think we're like perception. alert. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, perception. <clears throat> oh, boy. Roll me. <laughs> I got you. Okay, you rolled a sixteen plus two. It's eighteen. As you guys are walking south out. down the road, you're passing a light on your left side, then a light on your right, and then a light on your left. And then you guys slow down a little bit and see somebody about 60 feet ahead. And Tritogo, the last lamp you just passed, you decided to look back over your shoulder and one of the orbs just moved a little bit and then Looks like it's a glass eye and just focused and looked right at you guys. Hmm. The lamppost seemed to be watching us. I assumed oh. what the puzzle could be, but uh, I couldn't get a good look at it. As the... that's happening, the one in, in front of you goes. I wave to it. Good thing we haven't done anything bad, isn't that right, Michael? We found a stalker here. I went to Michael. <laughs> Hiding in the shadows. Um, I Hiding in the trees of the estate the shadowy of uh, trees. Alfia and Kreia. We're here to escort him. We're taking him to the guards.
we didn't walk away from that one. I assume we were looking yeah, down the I barrel like, of that light. <laughs> I like that light dunk, camera. <laughs> I duck under it almost. <laughs> we just continue walking after doing like a bit to camera. Okay. I say that word. Um, as you guys are, I mean, as you guys are continuing walking, each eye is looking, is turning to look at you. <laughs> I give uh, Michael a little shove. <laughs> Like like someone who we're taking as a prisoner. It's like it's like a citizen's arrest. Like if fancy people did a citizen's arrest, so it's very posh all around. Okay, guys, you ready? We got a good eye on us. I say at the count of three, we split up into three different directions. I'll head left, the east side of the gate. Uh, someone go right, and Michael go straight towards the gate. Okay. Where are we supposed to meet up? Uh, Rollin Row. Aren't we just walking out? Why are we splitting? I feel like there's going to be people at the gate. We'll just tell them we're taking the, the stalker to the, the guards. Okay. <laughs> At this point, you you see the wizard now. You're he's maybe forty feet up, and he he stops his concentration, does like a, can tell you like, looks up as if he's listening to something, and then his head shifts towards you guys. And... I wave him down. I flag him. Sir. And he kind of takes takes a step back and. Grabs a wand out from this, his left side. Three. Two. One. I run. I run for I my run, grappling I, I hook. Run to the east. Okay. <laughs> Roll and I stand there and like face palm. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, all of you four roll initiative. How do I roll initiative? Oh, oh I see. You just click it. Yep. Did it do it? Is it, is it, is it not okay? I switched over. Damn. You didn't damn. static. Yeah, we're good. Boys rolling dim 20s. Okay, so 20, Stratego, Indy, go first. Alright. I hate this. I'm gonna rent 80 feet in eastern direction. In east? Yeah, 80 feet sprint. <clears throat> okay. You Right when he you see the wand slowly go pull out, he hasn't brought it up yet or anything, but he just pulls it from his left, left hip and starts walking. You guys are about, I think I said 30, 45 feet, let's say 40 feet away. And, uh, yeah, you take off east, back to the area where you were. Um, Shurtugo, what are you doing? I'm just... I mean, I don't know. Uh, I just keep walking toward him. Like, help! I'm gonna start pretending like <laughs> I'm at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna act like a distressed noble. Okay. He's getting uh, away! The stalker! Make it great. Point at Michael. Great. <laughs> Oh, deception? I have to make your deception check. No, I, I can do it. I have on the other page. Okay. <laughs> ah, damn. He's getting away, the stalker, from a tree. <laughs> like, I'm, like, hand to forehead. Like, I'm, I'm having a hard time. <clears throat> He's taken something. I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay. Um... And I'm gonna like panic boy or move towards the gate. Like panic boy jog. Like, oh! oh. <laughs> you paint a pretty picture. Alright. <laughs> the mage closes the gap. Oh god. <laughs> kind of rushing over. Still hasn't brought its wand up. Goes, what happened? 
What what happened? We were here? just out for a night stroll, and he jumped out of a tree at us. We started bringing him here, but then he just took off. I think he knew you were going to get him. And then Michael, you're you're right next to him. You're hearing this. I thought you took off coming. running. No, he is. He hasn't gone yet. <laughs> this is not my turn oh. yet. <laughs> so, and who does anyone run, or is everyone standing here? Um, I'm really confused. Indy's on gone. This. Indy bolted. <laughs> Indy has straight dipped oh. on you guys. And then I would have thrown Indy under the bus. Okay. I just yeah, thrown so whoever. I thought they were off. leaving. Yeah, I would have immediately yeah. deflect onto the person who acted the most suspicious. <laughs> Okay, and so, then, uh... He came and was... I was meeting my friend who was hiding in a tree. He to come and say hello, and this man, he was escorting me. He made me show them things. <laughs> oh. He goes... Eh, okay. And who are Dragonborn, you? pinstripe suit. Wow. Oh, okay. God, dude. Goes, just they have, cameras, wow. okay. they have cameras. And like, who are you? I... And he points, he points at Michael. Oh, God. He's my escort. Yes, I, I, I'm his security. Okay. I did a bad job. Deception check. <laughs> 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 uh, security. Did he get any assist for me? Do I get... hard? <laughs> Can I try to persuade him? I'm playing every part that this that's noble. <laughs> okay, deception. Can I do persuasion? No, you're lying. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to persuade him that I am. Yeah, it's deception. <laughs> it's deception. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, you got it. You're gonna that twenty. Oh, that's hey, not too that's bad. pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, with. <laughs> okay, uh, stay here. We're then... we're hoping to get out of this area. I'm worried more people will come out. I'm gonna go stay at my my friends. I lean in up at the brothel. I have to get out to this part of town. You understand? Okay, stay stay right here. And then he, you see him cast sending. Um, and he just goes, pinstripe suit, east wall. Oh God! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sure these these eyeballs have seen him plenty. Um, Don't you guys consult with them? Aren't they like... Oh, uh, Jesus. They're gonna review the footage. <laughs> I look I look over my shoulder and I can just see them, like, ratting me out. <laughs> yeah, and um, no, I'm very blatant. Like, like, pointing I'm, back I'm, at I, you. Like... I would be screaming it... I would be screaming it loud enough so you heard. Because, like, I would be trying to also let you know what's happening. Okay. Like, I'm making a scene. Then... Okay. I'll stop... At the 80 feet. Is there like a bush around me? There, There's some bushes and trees that you... Yeah. Is okay, I'll, 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 I'll pretend I'm going through a bush. And okay. then... Uh, and then I get back up and I start walking back towards... Uh, towards them. Okay. Um, the mage is still there. We'll, we'll drop an initiative just because it was for... Like, to see like who was going first there. And he's... Okay. he's He's now, after he did sending, he isn't chasing. He just turns to you guys and goes, hey, and what are your names? My name's Michael. Theodore Rambillis. Okay. Uh, what, deception? You can keep trying here. That was a scimitar. What's your name? I was <laughs> dragging my feet, and apparently, if you drag it with your thumb, you could accidentally roll scimitar. <laughs> yes. Okay, Theodore, Michael, um, come with me. We should uh, document what has happened here. We're, we're going to catch the perpetrator. I'm going back towards them. Yeah, he, he doesn't quite see you at this moment. Oh. And this guy, come with me. And he says, He's already he done done the sending and people are people are hunting for weed. Okay. Then I'll I'll try to catch up to them. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's here. He, his wand goes right at you and he, he's gonna cast hold hold person. Oh God. 
old person. I won't even. I won't. I won't try to save. I'll let it happen. Okay. <laughs> oh. You. You've gotten him. I, you guys are safe now. Oh, thank you, sir. The town guard has always been magnificent. <laughs> Walks over to you, <laughs> and oh, bar paralyzed. Okay, and okay. Now, what exactly did he do to you guys? How much? I would like. Well. Did he cast another sending? No, not yet. And does it not since seem like what well, do do I think that he sent them after, like off to the other side of the wall, or are yeah. they coming right to where we are? I think he sent them away. He said yeah, well, he's what, what when he sent the message. All right, I'm going to if if I have the time, I'd like to cast enthrall. You can do that. What's the cast time on it? It's a minute. I need to talk to him and like continue to distract him for a minute. Okay. While we're walking back to wherever he wants us. To oh, go. Uh, you guys aren't walking anywhere right now. He's he's trying to basically. Then I'd be. Bet, bet out the I'd be like trying to like casually make him walk without knowing towards the gate. Look, I can while explain. I'm, while I'm talking. Don't, <laughs> Don't listen to him. I'll tell you what happened. Can you talk while you're paralyzed? Uh, I'll, I'm just trying to make it like understandable yeah. to you guys, yeah, yeah. but it's like I can explain. I swear. <laughs> and he was He's coming at us with like the draping in the night. I tell you, he, he attacked you, Theodore. Well, it wasn't a, an attack per se, but perhaps a an advance. I don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> it's all a blur. Vance. I tell you. What about Michael, is true? It was it was you. more of a startle. Uh, <laughs> he startled you. I, I don't know. You know, like I said, I didn't do a very good job as uh, yes, as escort. I tell you, people need to warn people before they just come talking out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The um. Pinstripe that's... suit coming at me all dashing like. Expect me not to overreact. The, the whole person drops. <laughs> and. Uh, that's not against the law. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course it is. Do you see them? I was. Mage, sir, I, I was can a explain. Guy. Please let I me explain. Was a guy. Okay. Stripe, what's, what is your story? I'm of the Gedlock family and I'm here on business. Hold on, I roll. The who? <laughs> the who? <laughs> <Don't> the... <laughs> Do the Gedlocks specialize in sed seductory? He goes, in... His wand that was was holding you returns a little bit, and then his his head glances back at you and kind of looks for a second. And goes, what what is going on here? You're a mage, aren't you? I can prove it to you. Has it been a, has it been a minute? Um, just about. Okay. Proof what? That I'm of the Gedlock family. I I have proof. If you need okay. it. Um. I don't recognize that name for a house here, but I didn't. I didn't know. Is uh. Is everything okay? What? It, Fine. You can't trust. Our mages caught you guys walking through at night. Um. <clears throat> We just was sent to investigate, and you guys took off running. It's a little suspicious, don't you think? Is it the lead who be startled by love? <laughs> At this point, you're in thrall as as cast. He, he has I, to make I, a. Is it verbal? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of verbal. Right, so as you're doing it, like with the with the love. Yeah, I'm 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 painting a thing. <laughs> um, make the wisdom save. Alright, I got a P2, so let me do this. The then. wisdom save DC something. Did wisdom save? 
Yeah, I don't know how to see my DC. 14. I have a plus 4 mod, so I don't think so. No, it's 15 to save. If you to roll save. it, it should give you the... It's a, I have a 15, I think. 15. Okay, what's Wait, enthralled? Wait, hold on, that's in the other one. Let me hit this thing to make sure I'm doing it right. That might have been on D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond! So he did save. Shout out to the letter A. Shout out. Dude, I hate this app. He did save? He saves. <clears throat> uh, he doesn't realize I tried to do it. He's just not charmed. Okay. Perfect. Um. Well, are you? What well, you guys should just go back to your your houses, Theodore, Michael. Um. Good luck. I think we'll probably take this to a more discreet part of town, don't you think? Pinstripe. What? Oh, yeah. Can't come at a man in the night with eyes like that and not expect me to take you out on the night of the town. Oh, so sorry I did that to you. Okay, well... I need to finish. We're gonna just walk out the gate. We're just what we're trying to do. I was gonna start. Oh, if, we're gonna start. If walking you're heading again. out the gate, he he just goes, "Okay, uh, Theodore, Michael, get luck. Make sure, just make sure you check out if you're leaving. It's, um, you know the drill. Um, have a good night. I need to finish up. Sounds great. All right. What a hassle that was. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes back to the lamp that he had just finished up on. So. <laughs> Drekar and Preacher, well, just Drekar, consciously. Um, after the one guard who didn't seem like he really wanted to stop you, he got a mostly quiet night back to Ryland Rome. I'm in for that. And you get to the theater, and it seems like uh, most people are, at least the resident, Nell, you... I've met is asleep. I'm pretty sure. Didn't he point you guys to the rooms or like makeshift rooms? I think so. I think he did too. I think we did that last session. So, gave you guys uh three rooms, which are their old. Um, can't think of the word. Uh, like yeah. a dressing room. Dressing room. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good looking out. They're all dressing rooms that were uh, turned into like small dorms. They have beds and bedrolls. And you can put your own bedrolls down if you would like. Mm -hmm. I cannot. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll tuck him in. <laughs> yeah, you get tucked in. Good night. And uh... sleep it off. <laughs> Do you heal uh, through a long rest? rest? Even if it's yeah, just like. It's just like... Long rest, you get all of your class attributes back in full health and all your spell slots as long as it's a has to be an okay. uninterrupted eight hours without armor on. Perfect. So you tuck Preacher to bed in a little bedroll in one of the dressing rooms and yeah. see where armor is. See where nope, armor nope. All right, he doesn't you, need. You. I don't need to strip him down. <laughs> <laughs> I might still, but I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so what is it, my class attribute? Yours would be spell slots. Mine is rages. Okay, it's probably just so after 3, 3.30 right now. Damn. And you two can do your level up. Yeah. Do it. All right, and let's see if the others can get out of trial and point. You guys are approaching the gate, and you walk past the mage you just encountered. The eyes have stopped looking at you as you're walking, and you make it to the gate, the big gate. Is there good, a good health person roll. or a... there's? Any kind of entity or thing? Is there is check one, out. 
There's a room to, uh, on, uh, from your perspective, the right side of the gate. Looks like uh, with a little light on. And someone inside, but it's a, it's a bigger room. Um, multiple people could fit in there. Excuse me, we need to check out. Um, yes, of, of course. You two causing all the late night ruckus. There are three. Would you like to make it four? <laughs> and I give him a wink. Um, just here, check out. <laughs> what, what does he hand me? He hands you a note <laughs> of a list of names who have uh, checked in throughout the last. I check out three of them. <laughs> I love it. And he down and okay, Mister. Hmm. Don't you recognize me? Um, not quite. I think I would remember a tiefling. Wait, who did you check out on here? And he looks down at the thing. Brad, you checked out Bradley Danvers? Well, as you so rightly show the reason why I go with a fake name. Oh, it's not fake per se, but uh, a human name. My birth name is looked down upon by such as you. By the way, what's your name? Do you have a badge number? Can I have that? Um, Cannot believe what I'm dealing with right now. Oh my god. I am, uh... What? I have a... <laughs> you can tell he's, like, kind of tired at this time of night, but, like... Deal with this. I'm trying to go out for the night and I have to deal with these racist guards. My racist. own neighborhood. I, I am not a racist. Is your watch Bradley. commander here? I'm done speaking with you. Oh, God. Either let us let us leave, or I would like Jesus. to talk to management. What? Just he do your job and check thing. us out. And he goes, okay, okay, and does a wave, and um, you see a door, uh, or not door, but somebody come out from where behind where he is at, um, okay. standing, and he goes. Yes, what do you need? Uh, I am trying to check out of my neighborhood, and this man is... three asked for management, and I've called me a racist, and I quite don't want to deal with this at this time of night. There he goes. And he just hands him the, the checkout clipboard, and... We're just uh, trying to check out. Yes, and, and what, what names did you check in under? I, I read the names that I just checked out. All right, you saw Bradley Danvers <laughs> is the one, and then uh, uh what kind of like, like what kind of names are you looking for here? Some say I, like Elvin or is, or you just go, kind of went like bah, bah, bah. I I would pick some that seem right, but I would have done it relatively Not quickly. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Make a performance check. <laughs> it's all about the lie. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's all about the lie. Wow. All right. I am a Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Danvers. Mr. Danvers. Bradley Danvers, huh? <laughs> You look different than normal, Bradley. Um... I would just like to go out and have a night with these gentlemen. I'm not looking to cause any issues. Let us all just carry on with what our night is. And he looks down through the names and looks at you guys and goes, "Okay, Bradley." And he gives you a wink. I wink right back, fucking down the barrel, <laughs> full eye contact, and. Gate opens. We walk the fuck out. We How go. Do you guys roll twenty sixes. That's my get one over the thing. Wall and then out of the fucking gate. <laughs> 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 you guys weren't supposed to be in there or get out. Insane. I like that. Insane. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I guys, know. that was a, a little closer than what we wanted. 
That was fun. I can't wait to go back. All right, you guys can make it back to the theater, find Drakkar and Preacher asleep, and do your level up. As a long rest for the night. That was exceptionally long, and goddamn, you guys. It's, we're going to wake up at like 11 a.m. <laughs> How do I yeah, level your up? Around noon. So, in, you can do it in Roll20, but right, do it in D&D Beyond. So, open your character, and I think you just hit... Um, you I click on you your do profile. It in, yeah, you click yeah, on your profile, your manage level. levels. And then just pop it up, and then I think at level 4 you pick a feat or ability you score. Ability scores. Yep, exactly. <laughs> And then everyone roll their health. Preacher where's where's did. long rest? If you have the sheet open in D and D Beyond, you can just hit long yeah. rest. So D and D Beyond. I can't find it on rest. my phone. You can't long rest on roll point. I don't think with the button. Ugh. I think it's more manual than that. Yep. I don't know how to. So three for Indy. On your health roll. How oh, does anyone else roll their health or? Already? I don't know. I don't know how. Oh, there it is. Long rest. Take long rest. So, Chris, for your new health, roll a. I believe it's a D8 for you. Correct. Just roll just roll. Eight. My current max is nineteen. The side of the <sighs> that, that bottom thing says dice, and then you just hit the d8 or you can do slash roll space 1d8 my hit dice is a d8 as well isn't it i've got the book open one sec i think it, it is, is. Yeah. yeah i think so too yeah nice. i'll go with the seven nice and you add your con mod also Chris, you there? Yes, I'm uh, trying to figure this out because I'm so slow. So, in D and D Beyond, the only thing you have to do is go to your. I'm on the manage levels, and I'm level four. Okay, so and then if you I guess the down, hit points is what I'm. Yeah, so don't worry about the hit points in D and D Beyond. Okay. Um, in roll twenty, in roll a D eight. Bingo. My dude, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Lucky. Lucky. So, so okay. what's your con? So in in, in your sheet, yeah. Um, add eight plus. So add ten to your hit points. Okay. Almost as much as I got. Boom. And then uh, <clears throat> make sure you do it to the maximum too. Yep. And then in in D, uh, basically pick two of your ability scores and raise them and raise them to one. Okay. So or you can do that two on one. You can do two and one, or you can get a feat too if you wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll look at the feats, you can do that. But, but... I got a feat. I also I got, got a feat. feat. I got. <laughs> My hey, rolls are gonna get even worse. Oh, you picked, oh, you picked, you picked, picked up the picked, one we talked about. Yeah, I also have a plus five charisma mod now. And is that all I have nice. to do? For level four, I think so. That's okay, great. You might, have, um, you might be able to pick spells, too, if you're a soul user. No, there's nothing else. That was the only thing that was, like, highlighted. Yeah, martial classes have it pretty easy. You don't yeah, have to yeah. pick spells or anything. We just get what the thing says, and level four, it's always four, it's always established. Best, best. Do I need to change Do my I need to change HP, my HP and D and D Beyond? No. Okay. We'll just keep track of that in roll twenty. It'll be gotcha. easier. All right. Cool. Um, everyone else is good on. All right. That on that. All how, right. You guys awake? How do we cover? Oh, how do we recover hit points on a long rest? Uh, uh, they go to full for your. They go to full max. max. Yeah. I fucked up. Yeah. I think. You're good. So everyone recover your. 
rage points, sorcery points, everything. And you guys are waiting to the theater. What um, time is it? It's about help! noon. Help! Oh my! What? Oh, huh? Startles me awake. Uh, where am I? We made it back. Uh, you found that animal down there. And what the fuck, the fuck was that shit? It's uh, it's the biggest one I've ever seen, but it's a badger. Used to have them all around back in my village. A uh, badger? Yep, by the look of it, they're not too fond of you. Oh, shit. What happened to my clothes? <laughs> well, oh, go and find a change of clothes. There's plenty of them here in the theater. Tell me what you found, though. Why were what, you, what did you see down there? They were pretty defensive. Uh, it looks like there's a tunnel down there past the Badger that runs straight across that road into Trallum Point. Into Trallum. Well, it's, it seems that way. There's our way in. Let's see what the others found, though. Uh, I need so to find we, some money. We may be in need of a new way in. And, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> you guys have all woken up and convened together. And also, we need to talk to this And Michael one. is sitting there in, in the corner, just, like, and just waking up. And just, hey, guys. <laughs> we found him snooping outside the target's house. Oh, it's the target now. <laughs> <laughs> Last night you were just on a walk. <laughs> and I'll walk up and like, how tall is Michael? About 5'12". 5'12". <laughs> <Five twelve. laughs> <laughs> about 5'12". About 5'12". Yeah. About 5'12". <laughs> <five twelve. laughs> <five twelve. laughs> Could be 5'13". <five> <laughs> it Could be. <laughs> Well, I still look down a little bit towards you. you you're a half-elf? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, if you were in Trial and Point, we've been trying to find a way in there since we've been here. But what were you doing in there? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I told these guys last night I'm uh, tracking this dwarf, and uh, I I'm working for a guy named Slaps, and he's uh, interested in some, some uh, government documents that uh, this guy supposedly has in his house. What guild does that work for? I I don't ask those kinds of questions. Who's slaps? <laughs> look, look, you know as much as I do. I'm just trying to go in there, get this thing, clearly do maybe some other treasure on the side, make some money. I'll just look over at Stratogo and then like gesture like, what is this guy? Who did you find? <laughs> My name's Michael, by the way. <laughs> I start setting out my paints and I put my jacket <laughs> I, I, I get the jacket. chair from the other room and put it down oh god Michael okay. would you like a seat so we'll have well you guys will have to deal with Nell for this Nell we're in the theater right yeah give him a shout yeah. out you know you have to go out and ring the bell yeah, I have to. No, he's he's in, he's in his <laughs> own room. Um, there, maybe fifteen seconds. You, you don't hear him, but he turns the corner. Yes. What? No. Have you ever heard of a Who man is called this? Slaps? Um. Who is this? <laughs> heard of him? Of course, I've heard of him. He's me. <laughs> Slaps. Let me up. Slaps. Never heard of the slaps. Well, I'm not too worried. We'll get some more information Insight pretty check. soon. Okay. He <laughs> 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 seems genuine. Fuck. Um. You guys can't just in bring your own guests, and I and what? What did you? He like looks at Michael and does a. What, no, come, what are come you with me. I, I take him out of the room just so he's not making such a. Who, Michael or no? No, I take Nell out of the room. <laughs> you guys can't bring people in here. It's ridiculous. 
No, but I've look, opened my home. To you. We were in Trail and Point last night. What? You got yes. it? Yes. How? Uh, long story, but we got out. But he was there snooping around. Prayer's house. Wait, what? Prayer's house. Oh. He was snooping in a tree, looking down through the windows. What was he doing? Apparently, he's looking for government documents for a man named Slaps. Hmm. That sounds like a load of bullshit. <laughs> but I don't Your know. Your car! Yeah. Your, your car, are you warmed up? But, but I mean, yeah. What do you need? You feel like punching someone. That mouthy little thing? Yeah. Just give me a moment to see if he cooperates. I may request. I look I'm directly at, at Michael. I'm going to crack my knuckles. Michael, quite frankly, I've been playing these games, and you'll tell us exactly what your job is and what you're doing. And who's I told you what my job is! I told you five <laughs> times! <laughs> I'm working for I, a man named Slaps. I, I'm trying to get in the house. I thought. I first to, to, I'll first put my door, hand like, on his and chest. And I sparta kick his chest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, right in okay, the chest. Uh, okay, roll combat. I'm gonna fucking kill everybody, I guess. <laughs> uh, just make an make a attack at Michael. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. An arm. <laughs> Nine. Uh, I don't. That definitely Got him. <laughs> so you go for a kick, and Michael does like a, and just like arm blocks it away, and uh, no, no goes. Okay, you know, everybody quiet down. Everybody quiet down. Yeah, yeah, I'm just Michael, <laughs> you're pretty agile, Michael. Relax. Dude, this man was outside of. Increase house. That means he has information. Yep. What did you see? I. Why don't you ask them? I told them. Oh, he's cutting out. Oh. Okay. Um. What did he see? A tree. <laughs> I found it. Anything I don't remember. Been... You don't remember. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have a. I'm. I don't have my normal notes you, in front of me. I yeah, literally he's see what that's called. Everybody he goes. Okay, Michael. Why don't you just tell me what you saw? I told him I've been following this guy for weeks. Okay, I've been trying to trying to get in the house, but kids keep sneaking out. It's whole family in there trying to figure out a way in. There's guards everywhere. I told all. I told your boys all of this, and you come at me like I'm some kind of enemy here. I thought we could work together, but clearly, you guys have a problem with me. Well, at least one point has gotten across. I've been telling the truth from the start, and you guys have been nothing but shifty. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> this is a very shifty group, Michael, and, uh, I got can say I do like your attitude. Look, I've been following this guy for a while. He uh, he works at the university, and uh, it, he he doesn't seem to go anywhere else, really. You know, he's only he's only uh, I'll kind of pause right there. I'm like, why are you interested in him? Well, he has something that I want. I see. You know, I don't, uh, I don't normally get any information uh, on uh, who I'm working for, really, or what the, what the deal is, but uh, is it possible we're working for the same person? Um, I find that improbable, as this is kind of my own project, but it being my own project, and... Uh, you said you're skilled? Well, I, I think I found a good way to get in there. And you said you cased the place for weeks? A couple weeks, two, three weeks. And just the family in there. There's no personal guards. No guards, just a maid. Two just kids. 
Okay. Um, the maid doesn't look just like a maid, or is it? I don't, I don't know. I mean, she's a human woman. That's that's it. You know, you gotta understand. She. I don't see her outside the house. I'm only there at night. <laughs> Wait, no, it's a human woman for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So definitely, I love. Michael I don't know, you know, it's, it's, right. it's, I only get to limited glimpses at him through the windows, you know, sometimes, so, this is all I know, and I, I've told, told these guys this, and I thought it would be <laughs> important. Mike, Michael, you seem upset. Sorry, I'm just a little on edge. Well, anyways, um, counter your hostility and all. I think we could use you, Michael. You blocked my and, uh, kick. You're fine. <laughs> you, you tried to kick me in the first place. <laughs> you know, it's very rude. It's very rude to block a friend. <laughs> it is. It is. It was a good kick, too. Says the person that's got his ass beat by him. Very rude. Um, well, Michael, how about... I commission you with the rest of them, and I... Offer. Well, look, like I told you what I told them last night. I think I think we could work together. You know, it it seems like it's tough. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get in there. I've been, like I said, I've been watching it, and I haven't been able to find really a great way in yet. So, uh, I, I thought thought we could help each other. Were you stuck in there for three weeks? No, no, I've been I've been coming in and out. I'm it, it, out of character. I'm not sure way in. where I've been staying in the past like month yeah. or whatever. But um, you've been staying in a place. I don't know if I should reveal it to everyone or if you want to do that yourself. Oh but... no, no! I mean no. I just I. You've been. Yeah, you can tell me, and then place. I can decide. I guess. I don't want to tell them. Definitely not. After yeah. what I've seen. It's basically, the important part is if it's inside or outside. It's inside. Okay, so you have not left. Oh no, no 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 no. That that's what I meant. Inside like, has he been getting in and out of trial and point? Yeah, he told you he has a grappling hook that he gets over the side of the wall. Yeah, just climb in. Well, then we could all do that then. Well, Which, well, now we kind of know what those uh the that that mage is doing walking around with those lights. I don't know how we can avoid those, but I, I'm sure we could come up with a way. Yeah. Well, there, there, there is another way into Trallon Point. So tell, uh, preacher. Do tell, preacher. Oh yeah. You know the inn in Bright Hook. I think snappers. it's called Snappers. There's a appears to be a tunnel with some kind of great beast. <laughs> Seems to lead under the street and into Trallum Point. What kind uh, of great beast? Well, it's dead now. Uh, Rick Hart said it was a beggar. <laughs> <laughs> well, was it a beggar or was it a beggar? Yeah. So you guys know he's mistaken. It was a badger. But That's it was the it, biggest yeah, yeah. one I've ever seen. Oh, a badger. You were beaten up by a badger, Preacher. I, I, look, at, I look at the car like... Uh, yes. I, 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 it was weird. It was the first time that everything ever went black. And I woke up somewhere else. Strange. Well, it seems as good a time as any to get this out of the way. What exactly do you do here, Preacher? Yes, Nell said you have interesting skills. Yes, if I would like to speak to for the Preacher, man. Honestly, I hired him because he is making sure all of you behave. Yes. Preacher. So you need someone to watch me to make sure I behave. That makes no. sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> that happened one time. You're referencing 
the last time that we worked together? Is that the whole reason he's here? Oh, you mean to tell me he's only had one incident? Well. Oh, well. I think we could work together just fine. <laughs> <laughs> nothing one's nothing to worry about, right? One's a fluke. <laughs> I feel it's my favorite right there. I know. <laughs> oh. I'll just look, uh, call up and down. Can I see any weapons that he carries? Like, yeah. Do you have anything concealed, or you have a sword, or I have a little a sword, of daggers, sword. or something? A little short sword and uh, a short bow, I guess. It's not concealed. Okay. I don't know, like, don't... what the yeah, that's that's kind of yeah. what the protocol I've got is a as far as ball on my back. So as far okay, as concealing yeah, arms yeah. in the town, it's not, it's really not a... that big of a deal. Okay, yeah. So I, yeah, it's just kind of it's kind of out there. It's not uh, it's not hidden or anything. I have a small like pack, some stuff in there. He was only looking after you guys because, well, I figured. He was a perfect moral compass, as he, I th believe, was just born the other day. I kind of look, uh, look down at my feet, like kind of. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. Well, he certainly anybody. seems like it. He doesn't know much. Like I've never met such a clueless individual. <laughs> yes, he's an infant in his mind, but. You say there's something to him, and you were right about the last time, so, well, I have no, no reason not to trust you. Okay. I hope all of you trust me, and we will make out big on this project. And Michael, if... I'm, I'm getting into Michael. <laughs> Dude, it, he make, always makes you want to go there. Sorry, you, want to, you want to get right to his I level. I want to match it. <laughs> um, Michael, you... Welcome to come. I'll offer you the same offer I gave them. His eyes start around and he goes, 50 gold if you can bring back a couple of sets of plans that Mr. Ancreas keeps to himself. 50? Oh, I'm sure it's probably kept with the other stuff I'm looking for too, so I'd be happy to help you. Perfect. And how no, much are you no getting guards. paid? He must... Hmm. What I saw of him, he's a very paranoid person. I would assume there's magic within that house. Very powerful. <coughs> so, keep your wits about you. Well, tell us about what you saw in Trial and Point there, boys. We found the house. I show him my little sketch. Of it. Big okay. man, actually. What about, uh, what do we have to we do found with Michael. Michael? They have a sign-in and a sign-out sheet at the front gate. Um, names are very odd. And hard Brad. to... Brad. <laughs> you ever heard a name? Bradley. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we also know where uh, <clears throat> two council members live and the headmaster. Who is both like headmaster cameras. and a councilman. So, okay, that might come in. That might come in handy later. But you found the house that we need to get to, and do you know a way there? Um, we, we don't necessarily need to get to it. We just need. Well, probably have the plans of this house. So, well, yeah, we'll Mel to told us that he keeps them in a briefcase that he has on him at all times. Right. So we don't necessarily need to catch him in trial and point. But if things go south and we miss our chance, we could always break in, know where he lives. <clears throat> but another thing in Trollum Point is that the light watchers are under, are being looked through. There's little orbs, little scrying orbs that hide under the light, and they, uh, there's people watching at all times at three in the morning. 
We'll let them know. Um, I'm pretty sure with, with the and Drekar, you guys haven't made the Arcana check for for those things, so you guys can make an Arcana check. Okay. Make the baby do it. <laughs> the baby, the baby roll. do it. Oops. Baby roll. Why was that with disadvantage? Oh well. Just roll again. I don't know what that means. Trick art. Right. That makes sense to you. To you. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, makes sense that that it, could be a thing. It would have been a 19. It rolled with disadvantage. Yeah. I'll roll. I'll re-roll it. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. <laughs> <laughs> you know more than me. Impossible. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys believe believe Indy, and it makes sense, but don't quite understand magic. When we were given our two-day window, and tomorrow, where today is the day, right? Today is the day, and we know what day is it. <clears throat> believe it is actually like you guys have tonight and then the next day one more night okay so we've got another night where we can figure it well out. you know that the time was was during the daytime from three to he stays late after after work from three to five i have leaves at 4 p.m every day but at the end of the week he leaves at 7 30. Okay, okay, sorry. sorry. Stays three and a half hours late on Friday. Yeah. I'm just it's it's Fantasy it's Thursday. It's Fantasy Thursday right now. Okay, yeah. so Fantasy nah, Thursday. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well, we have one more day to figure out our plan on how we're going to get there and get in without causing any unneeded trouble. This demon hole that Preacher seems to have found seems like a good option or we could use the grappling hook well the the tunnel was in the inn they weren't too happy about us finding it I don't know what they'll be like with we go back they may not even be there they seemed like they were trying they were trying to leave and you're sure the uh, the tunnel leads to travel I didn't like really catch well. a good look at it what was what was our our watcher's name? Ulan. We should find him. See what he's discovered. Yeah, See if he's heard anything from the clan or the guild or the conglomerate, the association. I can meet with him. I just, I give him a a spot to meet. So. It may be worth to see the reaction of the discovery of the tunnel. Yeah. Did you guys uh put a timer or anything with that? With the kid? With the with the meeting point, yeah. Um I don't remember. We were gonna use them for something. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna use them for info. Mm hmm Did we so we hang out with him? the box. See if he stops by there. Sure by the box. Yeah, I can check the the brick wall where he, they put the whatever's the coins. I think I, I was the only one that went. Oh, I yeah, he told everybody ones. about it. He told everybody, but okay. We could try and catch him tonight, but we've got all day. Right. Yeah, I... Nell no, no chimes in and goes, "Okay, well, tomorrow afternoon, dinner time, we strike." Right. I go towards the window and I hop out the window. <laughs> On the Preacher, moves. what's your what do your clothes look like? Um, torn up. Um, long black coat, black hat, shaded glasses. Um, yeah, just basically in a black trench coat with. I walk over Nothing. and I. Oh, my my medallion or my ceremonial knife hanging around my neck. Uh, 
I sit down and I start plucking a few of the strings on my uh, thing that has a name that I don't remember off the top of my head. Dulcimer? Sure. The one that's strapped across my chest, and I'll cast oh, God, ending man. on your tattered dress. Yay! And it's fixed. Um, you looked better in the dress, and then I'll just walk away. A what? <laughs> he's, okay. he's, he just left on that. It's about <laughs> noon. The group of you are... Have the rest of the day to do what you want. And then tomorrow... So you guys have roughly 28 hours to strike to before game time. In India, as you guys are wrapping up, Nell kind of does a little... Hey, Andy. Yep. And he walks you down the hall a little bit as the, the conversation between... Uh, as Stratogo is mending Preacher's robes. Because... Because... That list that, you have... Um, I do know I one. I do know one. Do. Yes. Uh, Liz. She's a uh, got a place down in South Ward with her husband. What does she look like? Um, uh, Goblin, Rogue. Can't miss her. A what? Sorry. Oh, goblin. Oh. Crooked teeth. Can't miss her. Here's a shop. Um, east side of South Ward, down by, just on the other side of Rowland Road. Cutting into Michael again. <laughs> Listen, slashes. Get that cash. <gasps> yeah. <Not> the, uh, <laughs> what's the shop's name? That's the name of the shop. Listen, slash. Get that cash. Listen, <laughs> slash. <and> LLC. <laughs> get that cash. Uh, Sliss, yeah. fly S S, and Slash L S L A S S. Get that cast. They sell weapons. Yeah. Uh, they sell all sorts of things. Well, that helps actually. Let's give them a visit soon. Yes, I'll get your painting for you before I do that. Perfect. And our arrangement stands. I think now would be a good time to figure out what each person brings to group in terms of what we're doing for this height. I'll be up front. I don't bring much to the table if we're going to be doing it all stealthily. I can think very well, but um, I excel more at distraction and interaction. <laughs> I have some proficiency with breaking and entering, but not much. I, uh, I have connections that she, she might know. Um, if I can get a minute with him, I can probably wiggle myself into the museum. Say, so, I'm sure. Me and Stratogo could cause a distraction. If you guys you know do saying, something with that. Look, I'm not opposed to grabbing him off the street in broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, you can be all stealthy. Like. Let's take him out. <laughs> well, I think I could probably 
do this and the door opens and closes and opens and closes and opens and closes and opens and closes. <laughs> and opens and closes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I don't I don't do anything. I don't say anything or anything like that. How very polite of you, preacher. Thanks. <laughs> Hey guys, check this out. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> the engines are like squeaking. <laughs> All right. So, what would you guys like to do? You have um, the rest of the afternoon. I would like to. You guys can gather yeah. materials. You think it would help with um, uh, the height? Let's see if we can find his route home. He's going to be leaving would, here in a couple hours and just see oh, the way that he walks. Also, I'd like to clear up the plan. Are we getting him? Or are we breaking into the house while he's not home? The or original we... plan that Nell suggested was to, while he stayed late, get into his house and steal the plans. But he is no longer there. And you guys, you guys can come up with whatever plan you would like. <laughs> I because thought we, had we've mentioned getting in. <clears throat> I would like so to the briefcase with... thing, and I meant to meant to say this earlier when uh, you brought it up, is when he was doing security for the museum, he always had the briefcase with him, and I I did that to like so he has like a physical thing of the plans he was always looking at. And yeah, he doesn't he does. carry those now. No, that project is he, done. Yeah. 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 Do we know what the painting is called that we want? Yes. Damn, so he doesn't carry the briefcase. No. no. Is our ideal scenario to get in, get the, the plans, and get out without anyone knowing? Is that our goal? Or are we trying to interact? I would like to interact at least a little bit. And if I can't get my in, then... The guns go, Deadlock say. But Honestly, I would really yeah. like to speak to him before before anything happens. I'm gonna probably rush to the museum now before he gets going back home at all. But he doesn't leave early or anything. I I might know his route. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching him for a while. So he does, Why? he does go directly home from the university and doesn't stop until once he's on the inside of Trial and Point. He, that's the last time you guys have seen, what you've seen him. And then you also seen him inside his, inside his house and around and going into his house when you've well, staked we, it out. But Yeah, we could potentially have a team at the house looking for the documents and another team delaying him on getting home. Hey Michael, how busy is the house around four o'clock? Depends on the, the day. day. Well, he's we'll, not gonna we'll be home during the day. But if everybody else is, then this plan sucks. <clears throat> I think the kids go to the university. And. It's... Yeah, so. What about the normal human woman? <laughs> so Chris, She's mate. Both, both of the, during the day, both kids do attend the university. And you have seen um, that a maid and then. Uh, the wife. A, yep. Is there. So. It's occupied. It's occupied! <laughs> well, uh, how I would still like to go to the university and see if I can speak with them real quick. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to grab them off the street. I think that's easy. <laughs> oh, what a great addition to the group. All right, you say so. All right, so let's say that we keep him captive. 
then we need to keep him captive while we go on a museum heist and tell anyone knowing that he's been taken captive. Oh, we could do that, I think. So we either then have to, one, kill his family, two, restrain and lock up his family, or the uh, children look, how about this? taken on if the you, way home. If you, <laughs> if you want to go at it like that, why don't we just wait until nighttime and get in there, or, you know, uh, go in right before he gets home, secure the family, and then we get him, and then take care of that problem, and then we can visit the museum that you want to visit. I'm, I'm just trying to point out the options we have. I, I, I don't think killing anybody or anybody's family is really something we should be doing. That's no fun, preacher. I'm just saying, if you want to go at, you... at it like that, we, we should surprise him. I love a surprise. I love a you... surprise. Your own present. Have we considered snatching him in broad daylight? So boys, this is pretty greasy, but I like the idea of having him walk home and showing up, and then and he then can give he's... us everything everything we need. Yeah. But then how do we make sure that he doesn't talk and warn the museum? We can take care of that. Maybe I can walk him to the gate. Indy's, Indy's pretty... Persuasive as much as it makes my skin crawl. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did that all alone. No help. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'm okay with that plan. And then if it goes wrong, we kill them, leave them in the house, go to the museum, and get out. Does the house have a basement at least? Probably. Well, they're all dead. It doesn't really matter. Um, you couldn't tell if there's a basement or not. Michael doesn't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know. I think that's a rather sound plan. We follow him home, confront him at home today. Get the plan. So I guess if we're going to confront him, we don't need to wait for him to be out. Right, right. Well, we can just get there. We should go now. We Catch him in. He's him. leaving at four, and it's just past noon now. We should go and get in and get settled. I said, I'll go meet him at the university. I want to talk to him. Then, if all goes well, I would walk him to the gate, and I'll signal you guys to attack. Delay him if you can. Do you require assistance? Is no, that's something you okay. can do on yourself. All right. I should be okay. Well, then the next question is, what's our way in? If we're going right now, do we risk the tunnel or do Look, we? Look, if you find a tunnel, that might be uh, that might be the best way. It's it's kind of risky to go over the wall in daytime. Well, I don't know if there might be more uh, beggars down there in that tunnel. <laughs> We might have a whole night, remember. Thing is until tomorrow. Well, we, we're supposed to steal the painting by tomorrow, Friday night, but we're supposed to, he has the plans for the security stuff tonight. So, well, let me clarify. You, um, the painting stealing hasn't, you guys are trying to find the security plans to the museum. Okay, yep. Um, but that's all. Are we? Um, we're not in charge of the, the painting. Um, we're in charge of what's our our job? Is is it the painting in the end, or is it just the plan? What are you we? You guys are hired. We're hired for the plan. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Great. That makes it easier. Easy. We don't have to steal the painting. Nope. You can still delay him at the university for yeah, getting home, so we can get more time. Yeah. And then do we deal the plans or do we simply make him give them to us? Um, I'm thinking option two. I don't know how many jobs this guy has done <laughs> and searching through all of his files. This is going to take a while. Too... And if it's magically trapped, we don't have a good way around that unless one of you excels in that type of thing. Not 
Are you sure you good at that? What exactly do you mean? Dispelling magics, picking up on it, things like that. Not, not that I'm aware of. All right, what are you guys doing? Well, at least you can open any doors in our way. Yeah, that I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna head I'm gonna over to the university. Mm, okay, okay. I think the rest of us are going to uh, Snappers. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like it. All right. Yeah. Perhaps when we get there, you guys wait outside. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> All right. We'll see so... what the situation's like. Travel. You guys travel across the town, and you get to Snappers. Indy, you're you're waiting on the perimeter of the university. Um, I assume you're you're kind of just looking for a dwarf to come out. Um, I'll I'll even go inside and ask if he's in. Okay. Um, yeah. It does have a perimeter to it, and they um, as you walk up, you see a human um mm -hmm. female and she's like a regular human female <laughs> please present present your badge and i see you're not wearing any robes sorry i i'm not a member of the university i'm just wondering oh, if uh who are you looking for alfio and Kraya. uh one moment and he turns to her to her side a little bit and then just does a uh and then are you a visitor I am. I'm a friend of a friend. Friend of a friend. Could you be more specific before I... I am uh, Indy Armredin of the Gedlock family. Of the Gedlocks. Okay, let me... And she cast a message and sends a message to Ancrea with that information. And waits a couple moments and goes... Um... And Kriya is not accepting any uh, visitors right now. Oh, really? Oh, that's bad. Yes. Um, I can leave a note for him or send him a message, but uh, I'm sorry, I can't let you let you in without a without a pass. That's okay. And I'm like visibly frustrated. Um, okay. I kind of just like the desk and like I kind of. I guess I'll wait perimeter on a bench or something and wait until he okay. um, comes out or something. And you kind of go around and then not but 20 minutes and it, it's probably it's earlier than what Nell told you where he gets out and uh, you see a dwarf with a large gray beard down to his you know right above his like right over his abdomen leave and he's he's carrying some books and he's like glancing around and, oh, 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 and he's kind of he's walking pretty quickly uh professor no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> um i'll run out of to oh, catch up not, not, not like with aggression or anything i'm just like light jog because i'm way faster than him so yeah you're, you're, <laughs> you're fast oh, oh oh professor i just hi what Indy, nice to meet you. Oh, you... Oh. <laughs> he, he, he heard or recognized your name through the message. And... <clears throat> yes? Uh, what do you need? Look, I'm just in town visiting. I'm on, mm -hmm. I'm on a free detail. I'm not under any business for the Gedlocks currently, so don't worry. You can be if you'd like. But... <sighs> Look, I is there admission to the museum for the display tomorrow? I really huge into paintings and I'd really uh, like to get in. What 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 one what kind of paintings are you into? Uh many. I do a lot of painting myself, uh mostly of uh draconic beasts, but uh, uh oh drag. That is actually <laughs> Is actually in a gallon that uh, just got put up last month. A gallon? Yes, 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 yes. Wait. Yes. 
Oh. Hey, Lynn, is, is that the painting we need? Is that what I remember? Or That's the artist. The, oh, um, okay. To the gallon. Uh, the great dragon Tenos. Bronze streak flying over the ocean. It's a beautiful painting. Heard of it. Is there a way I can see it? Or do I have to wait until... Huh? No, it, uh, it's actually on display. Oh, so I can just go in? Yeah, of course. Well, is that all you needed? <laughs> I mean, we have stones. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite aware. And he starts backing away. <laughs> is there a way I can buy the painting? Oh, you'd have, <clears throat> you'd have to talk to the museum. Okay. Uh, I, I don't own the painting, I just... Uh, I worked for the museum, that's it. Uh, once. Why are you so nervous? But, uh, uh, I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> Is that all you need? Look, look. I'm indie today, I'm not a Gedlock member, I'm just here on my own free will. Uh, that's, uh, that's, okay. Okay. Is, is there any? Is there anything you needed? Yeah, actually, um, I understand that you were the security setup for the museum. I was actually. Oh no! no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll keep it down. I'll keep it down. No, no, no! no I did not hear anything. <laughs> he's carrying his books and just he's kind of, He's definitely flustered. I uh, I'll, I'll keep, check. I I try to help him with the books that he's dropping. Uh, but yeah, I'll yeah. Be inside. Ugh. He but, he's yeah. flustered and uh, yeah. Did I say something well, wrong? Uh, um, no, I just I I, I need to get home. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll help you with those books. And no, I, it's quite all right, uh, Andy. Good luck. I'll, I'm not in. I'm I'm not a full-blooded good luck member. But... Oh, um, okay. Um, g goodbye now. Good... I'm gonna try to leave. <laughs> goodbye then. And I'll go to the museum. He he's scurrying. It looks like he's on direct point to travel the gate. And then everyone who's going to Snappers, make a perception check. A bad insight roll. Would, 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 I, would, I, would, I, had, would I have had time? Ooh. Time for what? Time for what? To get some different clothes. Get some different clothes. Um, um, I guess. I guess. We can, we can... I don't know. What, do you have any uh, what... different clothes on you? No. You Oof. could have grabbed some of the museum, I guess, but nothing. Echo. Oh, there we go. Um, I I would like to also put back on my normal clothes and my leather. Okay. So. so Preacher, Drekar, and Michael, as you guys are walking towards oh snappers. God, snappers. You tell me I didn't see, see anything. I'm telling you, you didn't see anything. You <laughs> crippled. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, have you see more guards out today than uh, than yesterday? As you walk, get closer and closer to Bright Hook, you see a group of two guards um, jumping from business to business um, with with notes, um, talking to people and. In the in the in the sh short distance, you see people, um, guards, sorry, um, carting off a couple corpses. Do we recognize any of the corpses? Um, you just see feet hanging out of of a cart, and then a blanket no, over so them. Tarp over with a bring out your dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll stop the guy pushing the cart. Um, it's it's a 
It's a little, it's, a little it's far a away from you. Okay. Um, but you you could run up to and stop him if you would like. Um, I'm not gonna run. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could, you could stop me. It's, it's a guy pushing a cart of three bodies with another guard standing like with him. So, uh, what happened? Well, um, we're not sure yet. If you have okay. any information, there's a, there's, there's two guards over there. Any points in the direction? With the guy to the clipboards, walking from business to business, and uh, it was, uh, please bring your information to those two. We're just here to salvage the corpses. All right, will do. All right, have a good day now. Uh, are we near Snappers at all? Yeah. What does Snappers look like? Um, Matt, Matt, kind of, kind of busy. But only in the sense that yeah. there's a lot of people out and about in the streets because it seems like there's some there's some talk about. There's some talk about what? Uh, you don't know, but there. Uh... It looks like there's more people, and nobody like the vibe you got from the day before was more like, "Hey, we're let's go down to the bar," and then now it's kind of like, uh, like those mil. You see, you recognize. To the guys walking from place to place are there, um, guys you saw at that table playing cards. So military men doing, trying to figure out what, what's going on. Well, what do you think, boys? Man, it's nothing big yet. Let's keep going and, I mean, we'll hang out outside still. Okay. I, th I thought he was talking to the guards. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, I can go see how the atmosphere is inside. Me and Michael. Okay. Go in and okay. calm, everyone, calm everyone down, Michael. I'm sure that you're a tranquil pool on a windy day. <laughs> Are you giving him inspiration? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can have some inspiration. <laughs> so, All right. Uh, um, what do you expect uh, Grekhar and I to do? Keep an eye out. Pretty. Look pretty. Then I'm gonna wink at Breacher. All right. I can do that. I know you East Coast guys need to go to bed, but if you guys want to stay up for another 15, we can do this part. But if not, we can stop it here. It's up to you. He's really? I, really, I actually yes, need done. to go to bed too done. soon. I could do 15. Minutes. Yeah. I'd like to do that. Sure. Done. All right. We'll All right. call it here as Chitogo and Michael head in. Drekar and Preacher are standing on the road. <laughs> and Indy is at the, going to the museum. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I know what I want to do. Okay. Well. Thanks for bearing with me throughout this. We're now on a three-way party split. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way we do it.